Hello and welcome. With the release of the Calvin King, there have been many rumors and speculations on certain aspects of the King, such as does divine work on the Calvin King, how does the Calvin King heal 24k HP, and more. Some are just pure fictions on how it happens, while some may be true, so I thought why not just go around and prove it once and for all which are true and which are just myths. So first up, does protection prayer lower the damage from bleed effects? As you can see here, the bleed is hitting 197 through my protection prayer, so when I turn it off, the damage doubles to 395. So protection prayer does reduce the damage from bleed effects. Now onto the next myth. Does the Calphite King cannibalize its own minions to heal 24,000 HP? As you can see here, there are no minions in the room. The Calfi King uses its green attack on me, and my partner provokes the king onto him, intentionally not using any defensive abilities, and my partner gets one hit. At the same time, the Calfi King heals exactly 24,060 HP. Now you may wonder why it does this, so let's rewind. The Calfi King activated its red shield earlier in the fight, which lasts for 10 seconds. During this time, he heals for a greater amount of what he hits. So after turning my character green, he went to attack my partner with the one hit KO attack, and because my partner did not use any defensive abilities, the Calfi King one hit him. And at the same time, he heals for what he would have hit if he had enough HP for it. So the Calfi King cannibalizing its own minions is a myth. Now this one is more simple. Does the Arcane, Elysian, and Divine absorb damage from the Calfi King? So pay attention to my prayer and watch it go down. As the Calphite King uses a bleed attack on me, my prayer drops because of the divine effect on my spirit shield. Now when I take off the shield, the damage from the bleed effect increases because I no longer have the arcane spirit shield on. So yes, arcane, illusion, and divine does absorb damage from the Calphite King. In larger teams, the mage orbs that the Calphite King uses can be quite annoying when it's maging. Some people believe that using multi-targeted abilities will cause it to spam mage orbs, and this is just a straight up myth. This is not how the Calfi King works. The Calfi King changes attack styles through successful attacks. Multi-targeted abilities like Chain does not change what attack style the Calfi King will use. So this is just a myth. Just like how people used to think that if you use Cursed Prayers at Nex, it will cause Nex to heal, which is just a straight up myth. Those abilities cause the Calfi King to spawn more minions. And, well, this is how the Calfi King behaves. At 75% HP left, the Calfi King will spawn one wave of minion to support him in his fight. At 25% HP left, the King will spawn two waves of minions, so that is three waves of minions each kill. The Calfi King spawns minions based on how much HP he has left, not by what ability people are using. He spawns them at 75% HP and 25% HP. So that's all the myths I had for this episode. I have a few more that I could do for the king, but these were the main ones that I keep hearing about from other people. If you have anything you would like me to prove or disprove, feel free to leave a comment below or message me on YouTube. Aside from that, thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.